I'm gonna put in some fence posts around the garden here because we wanna get this garden planted really soon. And then I'm also gonna clean out the goat's deep bedding. So I've got these two posts over here, and then I've got these two posts down here, and there's eight posts that go between them. So I'm gonna see how fast I can put eight posts in the ground. Let's do it. So I got in eight posts, dug the holes and set them in three hours. That's pretty good time and it was definitely a great workout. You'll notice these two posts right here are longer than the rest. Um, this is a four foot gateway that we'll use to walk from the house into the garden. And I'm gonna put across the top, I'm gonna put a um, kind of a beam across the top so it'll be like a doorway and then um, we can grow flowers on there. It serves two purposes though. One, it's ornamental. We can grow flowers over, kind of an arch into the garden. The other thing though is that across the top will link these two sections of fence and it will keep those posts from pulling out. So it's just, uh, it's actually kind of a shortcut to getting a bracing job done. And then out here on the corner, I have these really long posts on the corner. Now this fence is supposed to keep deer out, but it's only a four foot fence. So these corner posts are actually gonna have a white rope or a visible wire that runs up at about seven feet up above the fence, just to give the deer a visual cue, do not jump. You couldn't ask for a more beautiful day. I'm running down here to grab an escape baby. Hey Busterhead, what you doing? Yeah, look, it's a kitty cat. Oh no, be gentle. You're a wild man, aren't you? I love ants. You love ants? Look how busy they are, they're so busy. You're going into ant hive. Do you like watching them? Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? I'm walking up to where the girls are, up above the garden here, past all the little apple trees. There's a little apple tree. And the apple trees look really great. One of them got nibbled on by a caterpillar and took some of the leaves off, but we killed the caterpillars by squishing them. And it's not dead, it just has less leaves than the rest of these. They look so good here. The girls are up here at uh, our bluebird house and we just wanna check and see if there's any bluebirds in the bluebird house. So I want to know where the key is, okay? Let me put the baby down here. Baby, get down here. All right, sit. Stand there, buddy. We put this bluebird house in because we bought it on the vlog. And we're just gonna peek really fast. I don't think there's any bluebirds nesting in here, but we'll find out. Let's peek. Is there any eggs? Oh my goodness. What is it? Are there birds? There's chicks. There's chicks. What is this? There's chicks. There's chicks. I'm going to go to them. You're so fast. I knew the fence was off, so I wasn't like watching him really, really closely. We keep it off during daytime hours a lot and turn it on at night. 
but he just crawled under the fence and got into the chicken coop. What a wild man. Brighton, nobody, no. You can't, no, Brighton, it's not a baby house. Come on, buddy. You're an adventure man, aren't you? You're an adventure man. Look at all these chickens. Do you want to be a little chicken? Stay outside the chicken coop. Stay out here and play. That was our first and our last peek into the Bluebird house this year because we don't want to disturb those babies. It's so exciting to have put up the Bluebird house last fall and there's bluebirds nesting in it. This is like the kind of day that makes me so love spring. Here's an old apple tree. It's an old crab apple. I'm kind of torn. I think I'm gonna leave it because crab apples are great for pollinating other apples. But the downside of having a crab apple, a wild apple tree, is that it can be a reservoir for disease and can spread to your trees. So we'll see. We may eventually take it down. I think it's on the property line, so I'd have to ask my neighbor. Justice is up here playing in a brush pile. Here's Brianna. Look here. Look here. Look here. Time for the chickens to free range. <laughs> And Donald. And the stragglers are the ducks in one Rhode Island Red. Are you chasing chickens? What a fun sport. You're a chicken chaser. A chicken chasing child. It's the most popular place for free ranging chickens in the yard. The smokehouse dust baths, just lounging in the dust. Wow. We're gonna just have to call that a wrap. I didn't get to the cleaning out the goat stall. I'll just have to do that on my next work day. We got a lot done though. It was another great day on the homestead. And I'll see you all tomorrow.